Okay, uh, first up, a reminder, we will run out of Ada boxes in March Sign up. when we're shipping. So I was asked by our community and people who uh, had tried to get Ada boxes in the past, and we ran out of subscriptions because you have to cut it off because there's, a, there's, a, there's limit. a limit to how fast the universe can work, it seems. The speed mm. of light is still the speed limit for most of us. So go to adabox.com and sign up, and you will get something very cool in March. Okay. New products. You. We have some of these reinvented magazine. They did a feature on Adafruit, and I'm on the cover too. This is an old photo, so that's why it looks so good. <laughs> um, but it's a great magazine. You want has to show it off on the overhead. I show it on the overhead. Yeah, it's all sorts of really cool women doing. Yeah. Hold on. So if you doing want to inspire stuff. a young girl or really anyone about all the opportunities possible in the field of STEM, Reinvented Magazine. This is cool. This is like robot ballerina yeah. and more stuff. And it, at the end, actually, there's a really great, um, there's some tutorials like circuitry, soft circuits, um, you know, like these cartoons on electronic design. Um, there's also a little section on sensors, yeah, which I really like. in chief is a aerospace engineer. Yeah. She does that in Florida. And for fun, Magnetometers. Um, and for the good of the world, there's this new magazine called Reinvented. Yep. So check it out. We've got a couple. And uh, subscribe. Every time you subscribe, they also uh, give one subscription to someone who can't afford it. Next up. We've got some leftover mini screw sets from Make Do. Um, these were in an Ada box, and we found a box of like 100 or so, and we're like, oh, we should just put them in the shop. It's only a couple bucks. A great way to get started with... Uh, Cardboard crafting, and if you like it, check out. We also stock the larger sets. Okay, next up. We have two cases for the micro bit. Um, there's not a lot of great cases for the micro bit, but this is one of them. We're finding uh, all the great cases. One of the reasons we're doing this is because our upcoming board that we have is micro bit shaped. So we wanted to make sure that we tested all the cases. A lot of the cases won't work. This won't work, but it, but it was such a good case. I was like, well, but, I want to carry. But we're it like, just we for... should carry this anyways. Yeah. So, so this I'll is the show this case. off. So what's neat is it's a, uh, this is it's a dark diffused case, but it actually makes the LEDs look really good. Look at that high contrast. And um, yeah, you can't really see the, you can sort of see the text through, but not so much. It's a very slim case. Um, you can just pop it apart. It stays together, but if you just like put your fingernail in just the right spot, it um, comes apart like so. And then you can snap it back on. We also have a clear version, which is like a translucent -y. Yeah. What are you doing? Well, I wanted to fix something. Fix something? OK. All right, that's great. Nice work. Yeah. We also have a translucent case. So uh, it's if you don't like the, the dark, smoky acrylic. Let's see if I can remove this. Uh, this version. It. I just have to get my fingernail just in the right spot. Hold on. There you go. Um, the clear version is like almost completely clear. So it's also protective. and okay. pr so it protects the LEDs because it can get cracked off and all the chips. Um, but another nice thing is that it doesn't cover the um, bottom connector. So you can still plug it into accessories and stuff. And then snap it right on. It's just a great little micro bit case. Very elegant. Okay. Next up. Next up. Two USB breakout cables. These cables are unlike the other USB cables that we have in that there is no microcontroller or chip or converter or anything in them. It's, it's this literally and this. The, yeah, and this, this to, that. to that. You've got the four USB pins. This. Black is ground, red is power, and then I think D minus is white, D plus is green. Um, if you have something that broke off a USB connector or you have a mic controller that can connect to USB um, but you don't want to solder on a USB connector, you just want to plug it in, this will give you either USB host or USB you know, plug, either one. Um, so it's just plain connector. Again, no converter. We have cables that have a USB serial converter in them. This ain't that. Nothing in there. Yeah. And we have the two different versions. Yeah, we have both the host version and the plug version. Yeah, so you can go... Like this? this? I go like that. Like that. So people like that? Both styles. Really good. Either way. Yeah. Both have this. Yes. Nice little connectors on the end. Okay. Next up, for our Din Rail friends, 
Uh, we had in the store last week, we put in the two by eight din rail. We also have the huge chunkin 40 pin two by 20. It's really big. I'll show something over because it's hard to see the scale. Oh. It's big, but that said, if you have something, the reason we pick two by 20 is of course, um, for uh, Raspberry Pi, that's the, you know, the most common connector, but also a lot of single board computers have a two by 20 connector. So you can latch that on here, connect this to whatever you want. And then you have uh, beautifully labeled breakouts for uh, terminal breakouts for every pin. And it goes on your DIN rail for easy mounting. So um, I don't use DIN rail that much, but I know that there's a lot of makers and crafters that do. Uh, it comes a little kit, you just have to screw these pieces on. And look at all the terminal blocks you get, and they're so nicely labeled. Wonderful. So perfect for Raspberry Pi or other things. And then pick up one of these cables if you want to uh, break this out and connect it to something else. Not included, but it's like another couple bucks. Uh, by popular demand, some people want us to carry higher power inductive charging kits. And so we did. This one is... The one we had before is five volts, you know, half an amp. This one is five volts, 1.2, 1.3 amps. And yeah, you actually can get that much power out. You need to give it nine to 12 volts, maybe up to 20 volts on the input. I didn't try over 12. And then um, you have uh, an inductive coupling. So this is a coil. It's creating a uh, electric field through here, a magnetic and electric field. Uh, through here and then you know it's basically you're creating a transformer when you have this coil over here um, the magnetic signal couples in electrical signal couples in it uh, then induces a current into here and output so it's you know you want to make something that has a separator air fabric leather cloth whatever as long as it's not uh, metallic you can put it in between and you can pass power without having to have it be electrically connected so let's demo this, I'm just going to plug in a 9 volt over here. It works. And then, yes, yeah, so this is, yeah, you can't see it because we can't see that electromagnetic spectrum, but there's signal coming out of here. And then I just put a uh, 1 watt white LED over here on the output. And you'll see as I get, sorry, as I get closer, it gets brighter as more currents coupled in until it's ridiculously bright and that hurts. Um, so it, it does matter how far away you are. So the closer, I'll show this to the side. You can be, you know, this far and you're getting maybe, you know, 100 milliamps, 200, 300, 400, 500, up to when it's touching, you can do, you know, 1.2 amps. So um, you want to have it be coaxial as much as possible. Again, if you slide it away, you get less current until it's, you know, kind of close. So you do have to get it uh, somewhat lined up and you don't want it to be too far. Uh, but this is a high current converter, so great if you want to charge um, a project without any wiring. It is kind of magical. It looks a little bit like those toothbrushes, you know, the electric toothbrushes. You put on the stand, um, it charges something up. So this can do up to uh, five volts, so one plus amp out. Okay. I've had a stemma dilemma for a while. Well, your stemma dilemma is I've had a stemma really dilemma, solved. and I feel like there's hope for me now because I like Grove. I like Quick, I like Stemma, I like Stemma QT, but... What if you had to convert them all? So this is a cable that takes a JSTPH, it's a two millimeter pitch cable. Is it, is it this one? No, it's it the previous one. one. It's this this one's two this, millimeter. And it goes to Converts this. Two millimeter JSTPH to one millimeter JSTSH. The two millimeter JSTPH is the same size used in our Stemma board, so a lot of our boards like the Pi badge, the Hello Wings, you know, whatever, what have you. If it has this big connector on it, it's a I squared C uh, breakout connector uh, that is very easy to connect to. Um, now you can use it with all of our little breakouts that have the mini connectors, just a little large to small adapter. You can also use these uh, to connect to Grove hosts. So this will connect to a Grove or Stemma or I think also there's a couple other like gravity or whatever, the very equivalent-ish uh, cables, the pinout's the same. And then it'll connect to uh, Stemma QT boards, like this is a thermal camera and you can see uh, it's, well, hold on, it's upside down, but it can, whoops, hold on. It, uh, it can see me, hi, hello, um, over here, so I can just wave. Um, and then uh, it plugs very nicely, can connect to um, Stemma QT, 
QT sensors. One thing to watch out for is uh, because Grove is a five volt power system and SparkFun Quick is three volts, if you do want to connect something that is from a stem or Grove and you're connecting it to a SparkFun Quick breakout or whatever other Zeo Quick or whatever, just make sure that you've set the board to be three volt power and logic. Um, stem QT has level shifting and logic regulator, but some don't. So just watch out, you don't blow up your chips by accident. But uh, mechanically, it uh, connects quite nicely and it makes it very easy. And then of course, once you have, um, you know, this cable, you can connect to any of our sensors, including some of the ones we're gonna show later. And if you want, you can even chain other sensors. So then you can just use a plain uh, JST SH cable to, to chain other sensors. Wow, I didn't, it's like, why did you hot plug something? Thanks. Uh, you can plug other sensors and you can have a chain of different sensors and, and capabilities, motor drivers, what have you, all in the same Stemma, Stemma QT cable. So Stemma Dilemma is resolved. My stomach dilemma is over. Yay. Okay, next up. Uh, this USB-C breakout, it's kind of a cool inline breakout. Um, we have ones that are like simplified for through hole breadboards, but I thought this was kind of neat because it's a USB socket. You can plug a cable into it and it'll break out all the pins. It doesn't do any resistors or connectors. It is just all the pads. And I thought maybe this could be useful for somebody. What yeah. for yet? I don't quite know. But it's neat because you get every single pad and it's in line. So yeah. interesting little breakout. Okay. Start as a show tonight. Start okay. As a community and you. Breakouts. So we have three ST micro breakouts and they kind of come as a set. One is actually from last week, but I'm going to do it over again. We've got the LIST 3 MDL magnetometer. So it's a triple axis magnetometer. It's a nice little sensor, has I squared C, has SPI, has I think like uh, four six, eight, 12 Gauss range. So nice big range, you can use this for magnetics, but it, honestly it's best for doing um, earth magnetic field detection. We also have the, uh, skip to the next, next one. Next, next one? Yeah, there's, about? there's one that has only one chip. What are you talking about? There's the thing that maybe got lost. What's yeah. the last one? Sure. Keep going. Oh, I guess it went, the image got dropped. Okay, so in addition to the LIST 3 MDL, we also have um, an LSM 6DS33 breakout, which looks a lot like this, um, but it has a triple axis magnetometer and, uh, sorry, triple axis accelerometer and gyroscope. And so that pairs with the LIST 3 MDL, so you could have a nine off sensor. And then finally, we do have this one, which combines both. So we have, yeah, it's, they all look very similar because they're like black and they have electronics on them. But um, the magnetometer is if you just want a magnetometer. The accelerometer gyro is if you just want accelerometer gyro. Each one is less expensive. But if you would like to have a full nine off sensor solution, it has like full nine degrees of freedom, which is great for making an um, inertial measurement unit that can uh, perform orientation um, motion sensing. The 9 off is the best because, of course, it comes with all of the sensors together and uh, it has the same axes for them as well, so it makes calculations quite easy. I've got a little demo I can show off. Uh, have this. Um, this is just the STM32F405 Feather, uh, and it's got a uh, STEMI QT connector on it. And then I've got here the magnetometer and uh, the accelerometer gyroscope, I gotta really zoom in to see. And it can display, you know, the nine off senses. But you know, you've got two chips here, maybe you want to combine them into one. So, you know, magically remove this and replace it with the combo board. And just reset this. And now we've got that full nine off motion. So it can do um, accelerometer, so tilt according to the gravity of the earth magnetometer so it knows which way north is and gyroscope so as you twist things around it can track that twist um, so we're doing more and more stuff with imus you're going to see a whole bunch of initial measurement units and accessories going to the shop and we're going to do a bunch of guides on how to turn these into uh, yaw and pitch and roll data as well as like quaternion data uh, so as we do more of that you'll see some of these uh, st sensors like this really nice set the s 
STM LSM 6DS33 and LIS3 MDL, as well as the previous sensors that we put in, the LSM 6D SOX, and also upcoming the ISM 330. So a nice family of inertial measurement units from ST. Nice new products. All right. New product recap. Ready? Recap, recap, recap. We've got the reinvented magazine. This is the second issue. It's great. It's got wonderful women doing cool stuff in science and technology. Uh, we've got uh, some leftover make-do screw kits. A little easy to uh, build uh, mini projects in cardboard. Two cases for the micro bit, smoke gray and uh, translucent. These are very simple protective cases for micro bits. We have plain USB type A host and peripheral uh, connectors that have no conversions inside of them. It's just the USB data and power cables. For DIN rail fans, we have a two by 20 uh, 40 pin DIN rail breakout. It's huge, but it has every pin. Great for single board computers, Raspberry Pis, or anything else that has a ton of GPIO that you want to mount. A high powered inductive charging kit. This kit can give you up to five volts, 1.2, 1.3 amps out. So if you liked our half amp, five volt uh, inductive coupled um, uh, output uh, converter, uh, you'll really like this one, which gives you two, two and a half times as much power. Uh, for those who have a Stemma Dilemma, you have something with a Stemma port and you want to connect a Stemma QT sensor or device, congratulations. Also works great with um, SparkFun Quick and Seed Grove. It will convert larger connectors to small connectors over for I2C. We have a USB-C inline plug adapter. I just kind of thought this breakout was kind of cool. It just gives you every pin on the USB-C. There's no conversion or adapter stuff other than you can just solder to it. And we have a family of ST sensors, the LIST-3MDL um, triple axis magnetometer, the LSM-6DS33 triple axis gyro and accelerometer for sixth off, and of course, the combo board, which gives you uh, all of the above. Wow, amazing, nine DOF sensing in this little package is very affordable and really good quality. Um, so great um, matchup for your STM32 F405 feather, just plug it in to get nine DOF IMU action going.